Well, I want to welcome uh, Vice President Xi uh, to the Oval Office uh, and welcome him to the United States. Uh, this is obviously a great opportunity to, uh, for us to build on the U.S. China relationship, uh, but also an opportunity to uh, return the extraordinary hospitality that Vice President Xi showed uh, Vice President Biden uh, during his recent visit to China. 这是一个机会在两国关系的基础上进一步发展，也是一个机会在拜登总统访华的时候，时候所受到的热情接待，向普京提出的作为一起。As uh, I indicated during my uh, recent visit to APEC uh, and the East Asia Summit, uh, the United States is a Pacific nation, and uh, we are very interested and very focused on continuing to strengthen our relationships. Uh, to enhance our trade and our commerce uh, and make sure that uh, we are a strong and effective partner uh, with uh, the Asian Pacific region. And obviously, in order to do that, uh, it is absolutely vital that we have a strong relationship with China. Uh, over the last three years, I've had a great opportunity to develop a, a strong working relationship with President Hu. Uh, and we have continually tried to move forward on the basis of uh, recognizing that uh, a cooperative relationship based on mutual interest uh, and mutual respect uh, is not only in the interests of the United States and China, but is also in the interests of the region and in the interests of the United States, uh, in the interests of the world. Uh, on the basis of that understanding, uh, we have established uh, very extensive strategic uh, and economic dialogues uh, between our two countries. Uh, we have been able to pursue uh, a significant consultation on uh, opportunities for both countries to improve their uh, uh, economic relationship and their strategic relationship, uh, and also manage uh, areas of uh, tension uh, in a way that is constructive. That includes uh, working together in the G20 to manage uh, the world economic crisis that had such an impact uh, not only on both our countries but on the entire world. And because of U.S. China cooperation, uh, I think that uh, we were able to help stabilize uh, the situation uh, at a very difficult time. Uh, it also includes uh, the work that we've been able to do together uh, in dealing with uh, regional hotspot issues like the Korean Peninsula uh, and uh, issues like Iran uh, that uh, obviously have an impact on everybody. <coughs> 在这个设置进入这个经济危机的时候，美中两国的合作是取得非常好的一种稳定局势的作用，而正好那个时候是一个是遇到了很多困难，其中也还要包括一些要应对一些区域性的热点，像朝韩半岛或伊朗。所有这
使这个地区、全球变得更加稳定、更加繁荣，而且我们继续能希望能够预期的继续走这三年来我们所走的这条合作的道路。Uh, we have tried to emphasize that uh, because of China's extraordinarily uh, extraordinary development uh, over the last uh, two decades, uh, that with uh, its expanding uh, power and prosperity also comes uh, increased responsibilities. Uh, and so we want to work with China to make sure that everybody is working by the same uh, rules of the road when it comes to uh, the world economic system, uh, and that includes uh, ensuring that there is a, a balanced trade flow uh, uh, between not only the United States and China, but uh, around the world. Uh, it also means that uh, on uh, critical issues like human rights, uh, we will continue to emphasize uh, what we believe is the importance of, of recognizing uh, the aspirations and rights of all people. Uh, and we expect that uh, China will continue to take uh, a growing role in world affairs, uh, and uh, we believe that, that uh, it is critically important uh, that the United States and China uh, develop a strong working relationship to help uh, to bring stability, uh, order, and security that ultimately uh, provides uh, a better life for both the people of the United States and the people of China. 而且我们一直在强调，这二十年来中国所取得的巨大的发展，而且我们包括它继续变得越来越强有力、越来越繁荣的。但是我们要强调一点，就伴随着这个不断增加的力量和繁荣，也有相应的责任。所以我们还会继续和中国共同努力，来确保大家是遵循着同样的一些规则，啊，包括在世界经济体系方面的一些规则，其中还要包括确保不仅是美中两国间的贸易。还包括全球的贸易要保持平衡的，还有一些关键的问题，像人权问题，我们会继续强调这个，要这个承认所有人民的期望和权利的这个重要性的。啊，我们还预期会和中国继续努力，啊，而且我们还预期中国会继续在世界事务中发展、发展、这个发挥越来越大的一些作用。但是有一点是至关重要的，就是随着。要随着中国的继续发展，我们要保持一个强有力的工作关系，来助于这个保持这个世界的稳定、秩序和安全，从而给美国人民、中国人民带来更好的生活。Uh, so, uh, Mr. Vice President,、uh, I hope you have a wonderful visit while you're here. Uh, I'm sure the American people welcome you. I'm, I'm glad that you're going to get an opportunity to get out of Washington. Uh, I know you'll be visiting Iowa, where you visited uh, uh, many years ago uh, when you were governor. Uh, and I understand you're also going to be going to Los Angeles and maybe uh, even taking in a uh, Lakers game. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that very much. Uh, but uh, I want to extend uh, my uh, deepest welcome to you uh, and look forward to uh, a future of uh, improved dialogue and increased cooperation uh, in the years to come. 所以希望傅主席在美国的访问会过得非常好的，美国人民会非常欢迎您，呃，而且很高兴听到您还有机会到外地去，你还会到爱荷华，就是几年前您作为省长的时候曾经访问过一个地区，那时候还要到洛杉矶去，甚至可能还会看那个湖人的篮球的比赛呢，所以希望您过得非常好，再一次向您表示非常热情的欢迎，而且期待着在建国的岁月里，我们两国继续不断的增加我们的对话和合作。尊敬的奥巴马总统，呃，非常高兴啊，与您再次会见。首先啊，我要转达胡锦涛主席、卢邦国委员长和温家宝总理对您的诚挚问候。Honorable President Obama, it's my great pleasure to meet you again. First of all, I'd like to convey the sincere greetings from President Hu Jintao. National People's Congress Chairman Wu Bangguo and Premier Wen Jiabao. 我这次应拜登副总统的邀请，来美进行正式访问，受到了美方的热情的高规格的接待。我在此呢，呃，向您表示啊，对您在我此次访美中给予的关心和周到的安排，表示衷心的感谢。I am paying an official visit to the United States as the kind invitation of Vice President Biden, and we have received the warm and extraordinary hospitality from our hosts, 
So here, I want to thank you for your personal attention and what you did to help prepare and ensure a successful visit by myself.建立相互尊重互利共赢的中美合作伙伴关系这个正确的方向做一些推动工作the main purpose of my visit is to implement the important agreement you had reached with President Hu Jintao and to do some work to move forward the China-US relationship along in the right direction set by you and President Hu, that is, for our two countries to work together to build a cooperative partnership based on mutual respect and mutual interests. And I hope to engage with a broad cross-section of American society during my current visit so as to deepen mutual understanding, expand consensus, strengthen cooperation, and deepen the friendship between the Chinese and American people. <laughs> 也就未来中美关系的发展征求了他们的意见。他们睿智务实的建议也给我启发了很多启发。Yesterday evening, soon after my arrival in Washington D.C., I met with a very distinguished group of veteran U.S. political leaders. I sought their advice on the future development of our relationship and their wise and practical suggestions have provided me with much food for thought. Just now, I've had a set of large and small talks with Vice President Biden. He and I had an extensive, candid, and in-depth exchange of views on the bilateral relationship and international and regional issues of shared interest. Building on our discussions last August in Beijing and Chengdu, the Vice President and I reached some new consensus. I look forward to an in-depth discussion with you, President Obama, in our meeting today. Thank you. very focused on continuing to strengthen our relationships, uh, to enhance our trade and our commerce, uh, and make sure that uh, we are a strong and effective partner uh, with uh, the Asian Pacific region. And obviously, in order to do that, uh, it is absolutely vital that we have a strong relationship with China. Well, I want to welcome uh, Vice President Xi uh, to the Oval Office uh, and welcome him to the United States. Uh, this is obviously a great opportunity to, uh, for us to build on the U.S. China relationship, uh, but also an opportunity to uh, return the extraordinary hospitality that Vice President Xi showed uh, Vice President Biden uh, during his recent visit to China. Relationship with President Hu uh, and. We have continually tried to move forward on the basis of uh, recognizing that uh, a cooperative relationship based on mutual interest uh, and mutual respect uh, is not only in the interests of the United States and China, uh, 
but is also in the interests of the region and in the interests of the uh, as I indicated during my uh, recent visit to APAC uh, and the East Asia Summit, uh, the United States is a Pacific nation, and uh, we are very interested. Uh, over the last three years, I've had a great opportunity to develop a, a strong working relationship.